हेलो स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट क्लास टेन फिजिक्स द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ए स्मॉल क्यू and the definition is the property by virtue of which a body attracts or repels another body having सेम प्रॉपर्टी सो वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस डेफिनेशन मीन्स इफ देयर इज अ बॉडी विच हैज गॉट अ प्रॉपर्टी टू अट्रैक्ट और रिपेल एन अदर बॉडी देन दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इट मीन्स दैट दैट बॉडी हैज गॉट द पावर ऑफ अट्रैक्शन और रिपल्सन that can act on another body what is the meaning of by virtue by virtue means due to which the property you can write it uh, in another form also the property due to which a body attracts or repels another body having same property now types of charges there are two types of charges positive charge and negative charge <coughs> suppose there are two bodies this is body a this is body b if two bodies if these two bodies are rubbed together then it is possible that the electron can flow from body a to body b or electron can flow from body b to body a means if the body which gains electrons will become negative charge and the body which loses electrons will become positive charge the gaining or losing of electron are similar means the charge given is equal to the charge taken by the body now we will talk about the properties of electric charge properties of electric charge first property is like charges repel each other what does it mean that if this is a body having positive charge and if any other body which is having similar positive charge is taken near to this then they both will repel each other this is capital f denotes repulsive force but if second property is unlike charges attract each other means if there is positive charge and if a negative charge is brought near to this positive charge then these two charges get attracted towards each other and we can say that this f is attractive force now we will talk about the unit of charge unit of electric charge the si unit of electric charge is coulomb which is represented by capital c and coulomb was the scientist 
who discovered this property in any body that how the charges are developed what are the properties of charges and various other characteristic of charges now we must know what is one coulomb one coulomb can be defined based on the formula f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square si unit of force is newton this is the basic formula which is used to define one coulomb so we must know we should not learn the definition but we must um, be able to write the definition by using the concept let there is a charge q1 which is equal to 1 coulomb the value of k which is proportionality constant its value is 9 into 10 to power 9 it is fixed 9 into 10 to power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square this value is fixed so we keep this q1 which has charge of 1 coulomb at this place and if any other charge is brought suppose this other charge is q2 this q2 is equal to we don't know the value of this charge that how uh, what is the value of this charge means in coulombs so if we keep this q2 at a place which is 1 meter apart from this charge so we can see that r is equal to 1 meter then this force of attraction is produced and this force of attraction is 9 into 10 to power 9 newton it is not necessary that this should be force of attraction the other condition can also be possible that if one coulomb charge that is q1 is placed and another charge q2 whose value we does not know we are not knowing this but it should be proved as one coulomb how we'll discuss later and the same distance is this r is equal to 1 meter then other condition means opposite to this condition is also possible that this f is force of repulsion between these two the first case this is case 1 this is case 2 <coughs> the first case shows that if these two charges if this charge is taken near to this charge and there is experience of force of attraction then it means that this q2 this is plus this is plus 1 coulomb charge then this q2 should be minus 1 coulomb charge then only they both these both charges will attract each other but in case 2 it is very different from case 1 this is definite that this charge q1 is plus 1 coulomb and if we bring any other charge q2 which is placed at r distance r is equal to 1 meter distance apart and if this charge experience a force of repulsion which is equal to 9 into 10 to power 9 newton then we can see that this charge is plus 1 coulomb charge okay this plus 1 coulomb charge we can say definitely if and only if the force of attraction or repulsion between these two charges is 9 into 10 to power 9 newton means in this formula f is equal to 9 into 10 to power 9 we should put this value of k in this equation 9 into 10 to power 9 q1 is 1 coulomb q2 is also 1 coulomb upon r square means 1 meter square this is 1 meter square so finally we can get f is equal to 9 into 10 to power 9 newton this is force of attraction or repulsion this is force of attraction in case of in case 1 means when both the charges are opposite to each other and it is force of it is force of repulsion in case 2 when both the charges are 
of same uh, same property means this is positive charge this is also positive charge so if there if the force of attraction or repulsion between these two charges is 9 into 10 power 9 newton then q2 should be of 1 coulomb so we can define 1 coulomb based on this concept as 1 coulomb is that quantity of electric charge which exerts a force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton on an equal charge placed at a distance of 1 meter from it what is the meaning of an equal charge means another charge which is brought near to this one coulomb charge should be equal means should be should also be one coulomb then then only the force of attraction or repulsion should be 9 into 10 to power 9 newton if you are not able to understand this then i can explain in another way that 9 into 10 to power 9 newton force is required between the two charges which are kept at 1 meter apart and those two charges are it should those two charges should be of 1 coulomb and this is definite according to formula because if we change this charge means suppose if this is 1 coulomb first charge and second charge is 2 coulomb then there will not be the value of force equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton it will it is not possible that the force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton acts between these two charges because the force of attraction or repulsion will be doubled due to this presence of two coulomb charge in the presence of one coulomb charge which is kept at 9 meter uh, which is kept at 1 meter apart from each other so this is the definition of one coulomb one coulomb is that quantity of charge which exerts a force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton on an equal charge placed at a distance of 1 meter from it now the charge on one proton charge is represented by q so we can write it as q on one proton proton is represented by small p this is equal to plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and charge on one electron is equal to minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this plus charge represents the charge on proton and this minus charge represents the charge on electron but if we use this these this value 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb in the formula then the negative or positive sign is not taken means negative sign is not taken into consideration now if we want to know the number of electrons present in one coulomb charge then how we can find this we know the formula is equal formula of charge is q is equal to any this is the formula of quantization of charge quantization of charge means means the charge which is charge is always integral multiple means if we if we know the charge on one electron and if we know the number of electrons then the total charge can be calculated by simply multiplying this n with e so when these two are multiplied then we can get the total charge in the form of coulomb so if we want to know the number of electron present in one coulomb so n is equal to q upon e q means this one coulomb is q so we'll put this one coulomb and we know the charge on electron negative as i told you that negative sign should be ignored while putting in the formula so this should be ignored we'll put only 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb in this formula then what we'll get coulomb coulomb get cancelled 
and finally we can get 6.25 into 10 to power 18 electrons so it is very clear that one coulomb charge contains 6.25 into 10 to power 18 electrons in it means if we talk about two coulomb charge means it should be multiplied by two because it is integral multiple 6.25 multiplied by 2 into 10 to power 18 electron means the electron number of electrons will be doubled now conductors and insulators there is difference between conductors and insulators what are conductors? Those substances, those substances through which electricity can flow are known as conductors and those substances <coughs> which do not conduct electricity are known as insulators this is the difference based on the definition and the property second is example for conductors all the metals are conductors means silver copper aluminium and all the alloys what are alloys alloys are the mixture of two or more than two metals what are alloys alloys are the mixture of two or more than two metals means if we combine silver and copper together then this will become alloy if we combine these three metals together then the material which will be produced will be called as alloy of silver, copper and aluminium and alloys are nichrome, magnin, constantin these are the alloys and <coughs> another example is carbon carbon in form of graphite carbon in form of graphite is also an example of conductor it conducts electricity now the examples of insulators glass rubber plastic dry wood cotton these are the various examples of insulators so there are mainly three examples of conductor this is first example is metal second is alloys and third is carbon and this first example for insulator is glass then rubber and plastic dry wood and cotton we must know that why conductors conduct electricity it conducts electricity because of the presence of electrons free electrons so these are the three different this these are the two differences between insulators and conductors now we will talk about <coughs> the third difference as in conductors free electrons are present but in insulators free electrons are absent so this these are the three basic differences between the conductors and insulators <coughs>